Welcome back. 641 members of the Michigan House of Representatives will return to work today for the first time since putting a bow on the sex scandal at Rock Lansing. 7 Action News reporter Jennifer Bisram joins us live right now. So, Jen, what can we expect? Good morning, guys. You know, as you mentioned, it's the first day back in Lansing after this sex scandal involving Todd Corser and Cindy Gamright. And now that this big distraction is over, lawmakers can get back to the real issues at hand. And one of the biggest ones, fixing our crumbling roads. Now, there are also other issues on the agenda as well, which include a bill to allow EpiPens in schools for emergency situations and a bill to make it easier for the state to collect child support. Now, there's also expected to be some debate on energy laws as well as a discussion about the financial problems in Detroit's school district. Again, at the top of the fall policy agenda, though, road funding. Legislators were told looking forward to some sort of normalcy today in tackling these issues after the expulsion of Cindy Gamrat and resignation of Todd Corso Friday for misconduct, including a cover-up to hide the affair. Now, the scandal even making it onto HBO's Last Week Tonight with John Oliver a few days ago. Take a listen. He did this apparently in order to muddy the water in case his affair with a fellow state rep was exposed. It's true. <laughs> He sent an anonymous email accusing himself of a fake liaison with a male prostitute so no one would believe the real liaisons he was having with his own colleague. Again, the House back in session today. As for Corsor and Gamrat's seats, we're told special election primaries will be held in November to replace them, followed by general elections in March. We're live this morning. Jennifer Bisram, 7 Action News.